Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So according to the National Council of Aging, there is an age-related disease that kills over 27,000 elderly people per year. It's not the kind of disease you can catch and it's not one that you specifically get after your 50th or 60th birthday. It's the kind of disease that creeps up on you unawares. So without further ado, let's jump into the presentation. Let's find out what that disease is and let's find out more importantly, what we can do about it. So I shall be doing a number of videos that aren't just about NMN. These videos are gonna be about other factors that will affect our longevity and the way that we can live a long and healthy life. This video is one of the videos in that category. Sarcopenia is the loss of muscle mass specifically related to aging. It is normal to lose some muscle mass as you age. However, sarcopenia describes severe muscle loss that strays away from the norm. Sarcopenia affects your gait, your balance and your overall ability to perform daily tasks. For too long, researchers have believed that this deterioration in muscle was inevitable, but they're now beginning to look into treatments that might prevent or even slow down this process. As we've said, sarcopenia does not appear overnight. There are symptoms that you should be aware of to see either in yourself or in others. People with sarcopenia often experience weakness and lose stamina. Now, some doctors say this is all part of the natural aging process, but as we know, it doesn't necessarily have to be. It can affect their ability to carry out even the simplest of physical activities, such as walking or sitting. This reduction in activity then leads to further muscle loss and instability. Instability can lead to falls, and as we know, falls can be deadly. Let's now look at some of the causes of sarcopenia. Well, the main cause is decreased physical activity. However, although less frequent, some people with active lifestyles may also be diagnosed with the disease. This suggests that there could be other reasons for developing sarcopenia. Researchers currently believe that other causes of sarcopenia could include a reduction in the nerve cells that send signals from your brain to your muscles to tell them to move. Also, a lowering of our hormone levels as well as a decline in our body's ability to convert protein into energy. And remember, this is one of the key roles of NAD. Also, not consuming enough calories and protein throughout the day in order to maintain our lean muscle mass. Let's now discuss briefly a treatment for sarcopenia. The main treatment path for sarcopenia is exercise. Researchers have identified that resistance training is a specific form of exercise that is most beneficial to people with sarcopenia. This training is designed to improve muscle strength and stamina and uses resistance bands or weights. Resistance training can also help balance your hormone levels. It has been shown to improve our ability to turn protein into energy. And these changes have, in some cases, been seen in a shorter period as only two weeks. The right intensity and frequency of exercise is also vital. This is so you achieve the best results without causing injury. However, spending 45 minutes at the gym, but only training for 25 will not cut it. Trust me, you really are only kidding yourself. Moving on to hormone replacement therapy or HRT. HRT can help to raise lean body mass. It can decrease abdominal fat and prevent bone loss in women whose hormone levels have decreased during the menopause. However, the use of HRT is debatable, mainly because of an increased risk in some cancers and other severe health conditions. Let's now look at other treatments that can be used to treat sarcopenia. Other treatments currently under investigation include growth hormone supplements, as well as testosterone supplements, and these can be used for both men and women. There's also vitamin D supplements, but remember, if you're going to supplement with vitamin D, to also include vitamin K2. This ensures that the calcium you consume goes into your bones and your teeth and not into your soft tissue. There's also investigation into medications for the treatment of metabolic syndromes. If these prove useful, they should be used in conjunction 
with resistance and weight training and not in place of it. So how can we actually prevent sarcopenia taking hold? Lack of activity is the most common reason behind this condition. So just half an hour of moderate exercise each day, like jogging or even walking, will help keep your system working and fit and fight off sarcopenia. In order for exercise to be effective, proper nutrition is also very, very important. Research has shown that consuming more protein may help older adults reduce their chance of getting sarcopenia. Let's now look at supplements, um, and in particular supplements that have also proven useful in the prevention of sarcopenia. Some of these include creatine, and this is for increasing and maintaining lean muscle mass. I do take creatine, and this is the brand that I use. There's also vitamin D, and this is for maintaining bone and muscle tissue. Again, I do take vitamin D with a vitamin K2 supplement also, and this is the brand I use. There's also protein powders, um, this is to help preserve body mass. At present, I do not take any protein powders. As before, if you do take any of these supplements, they should be used in addition to exercise and not taken instead of exercise. Let's now look at some conditions that have been associated with sarcopenia. Sarcopenia has been linked to a number of metabolic problems, such as type 2 diabetes, it's also been linked to high blood pressure, as well as obesity. These three conditions are a type of gateway condition, which put you at greater risk of developing coronary heart disease, stroke, and other conditions that affect the blood vessels. So it's important that these gateway conditions are kept at bay for as long as possible. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Uh, now, when I was researching sarcopenia, I didn't really know what it was and I didn't know what it looked like. Now that I do, it is quite alarming the amount of people that you see, elderly people, with short sleeve shirts and wearing shorts. And you can definitely see they are suffering from age-related muscle wastage. And the crying shame is it seems to be quite easy to stave off this disease. Very um, small amount of physical exercise per day and a high protein diet will do quite a lot to staving off this disease that, that claims in America 27,000 deaths a year. Uh, so important do I think that this particular subject is. Uh, I'm going to do two more slightly shorter videos on sarcopenia and they'll be coming out in the near future. Well, um, I hope to see you in the next video. That's it for today. Uh, as always, please take care. I'll see you soon and bye for now.